In this video, I'm going to go over customizing your workspace in the Documents panel. So let me zoom out here. Um, the first option here is the size of your mat. Okay, there's three presets and you can make your own presets. I made one for the StarCraft uh, eight and a half by 11 sheets of either the adhesive printable vinyl or the um, heat transfer vinyl. So to do that, you just click on custom size. And let's say I want to do a 12 by 40 piece of wood. Okay. I'll just put 12 by 40 and I want to save this preset because it's going on a board. All right. Then I just click OK. It's going to change my mat size and it's also going to put it here. So if I don't want this board here, then I can just remove it. Okay. And then once I click OK, you're going to see that there's nothing here. Well, that's because I deleted the size from here. So I'll go back and check 12 by 12 again. Now, here is your orientation, vertical or horizontal. Now, you're probably thinking, well, it's 12 by 12. It doesn't matter. Well, it actually does because if you look here in vertical orientation, you have a black arrow. This is the side you're going to feed into your machine. Okay. And then obviously if I choose horizontal, it's going to ask me, do I want my objects on the mat to match the orientation? So I'm going to click yes. And then you'll see over here, this is how you would feed it into your machine. Okay, so let's go back to vertical here and let me zoom back out again. Okay, and then you can work in inches, millimeters, or centimeters. You can show the grid or not show the grid. And that can also be turned on under view, show grid, view. If you untick it, then it's not going to show it. I don't like working with the grid unless I'm using the snapping and I'll go over that later. Okay, now guidelines, in your rulers, you have guidelines. You just left click and drag and you can pull out guidelines and you can line stuff up. You can use that also for snapping and to get those to, uh, you just untick that or you can go to view um, guidelines, clear guidelines, okay? And then you can actually edit your guideline. Your X and Y position, the color. Um. So let me go ahead and draw out some guidelines. So I'll just, in my selection tool, left click and drag out some guidelines from the rulers. All right. And then I'll move this out of the way and I'll draw a rectangle. Okay. Let me go ahead and zoom in on these guidelines so you can see what's happening. Okay, now I'll click on edit, and let's say I want to edit this horizontal line because I need it to be at exactly two inches. So I would, this is left to right, this is up or down, so it needs to go down. So I'll do two inches, enter and click on modify and you can see that it moved to two inches. Now if I need to move the vertical one, I change this to vertical, select it over here and then the up and down is the Y axis. Uh, let's say I need that to be exactly at two inches. It's the X, two point enter modify there we go I don't usually use these at precise measurements but you can if you need to use it for a, I don't know paper piecing project or something like that you can also change the color to pink or whatever color you want I'm changing mine to pink modify 
and also this one I want I actually cancel this one I want pink and click OK and you can have it whatever color you want and then this one let's see that's horizontal pink modify now they're both pink okay I I don't use this a lot like I'll use guidelines all day long for snapping purposes but I don't use them for precise and I usually don't need to change the color but it you know the options are there if that's what you need to do now to get rid of all of these again go to view or guidelines and clear let's go back to show grid you can change the size of this so if I want it smaller you know more columns more rows that's how you would do that there so let's untick that and I leave that ticked okay and then you have your workspace alpha um, you can turn it all the way down but keep in mind that is going to cut let me clear that view guidelines clear guidelines okay <clears throat> It's going to cut whatever's there. So keep that in mind. Make sure you turn this back up to 100%. Okay, show outlines. Obviously, that's going to just show outlines of whatever is on your uh, screen here. Let's untick that so we can see what's on the mat. Zoom back out. By the way, to zoom back out, you use Control F as in Frank, and that makes things easy. All right. Show print margin. Now, I have an eight and a half by eleven printer, so that is what my print margins are. If you have a different size printer, that can be changed here in your printer setup, and I'll go over that when I go over print then cut. Okay, so let's untick that. Show your registration marks. This shows registration marks for uh, print then cut. Show your page color. Let's say you're working on a bunch of white objects and you want your matte color to be black. That's how you would do that. I'm going to go back to white. And then show template. Here you have, if you go to set template, you have 14. Well, yours is going to actually open up like this. So click on this little plus sign and then click on the home and kitchen. There are 14 presets here. You can actually um, save your own templates here. Same thing as in the library. You would go to My Mats, and then this option is available. You would click on that. It's going to open up your file, find your file, and put it in here. And then it's going to show down here under My Mats. Okay. This here is your view window obviously you have a slider here where you can make them bigger or you can make them smaller um, here is the position on the mat so you can change that by clicking on this or clicking on this we don't actually want that up let's say we want it in the middle of the mat so then when I click OK it's actually going to be in the middle of the mat um, you can change the angle of it, okay, and then um, you can mirror it horizontally. Of course, this isn't gonna, you're not gonna be able to see that, but murder, mirror vertically, you can, okay, and fill with color. You can choose your color. I'll just choose a light gray. And you can see it changed to gray. If I click OK, you can now see that it's gray. View the wine glass. Custom is where the only setting there. Keep proportions. And then your size. So let's say my glass and keep proportions. Let's say my glass is only five inches tall. Then it will change the size of that. And then you just click OK and you can work on a design for that wine glass. So let's untick that because I don't want that showing right now. 
So that's it for the document panel. My computer's acting crazy right now. It keeps adding it back on. Okay, so anyway, that's it for the document panel. I will move on to the style panel in the next video. Thanks for watching.